Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is another maze review. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review on Creepy Caves Unearthed at Chessington World of Adventures Resort. Now, I did do a review on Creepy Caves last year and I said it was one of the best mazes that I'd ever done. So of course I was going to make a trip down there again to try it out this year. As, and it also has the After Dark experience as well which I also tried out, which I'm going to be talking about. Uh, I'm going to talk about the After Dark in a separate video. So yeah, uh, we're going to talk about the normal version of Creepy Caves first. So if you don't know where Creepy Caves is, um, it's okay in the old Creepy Caves walkthrough um, exhibit, which closed at the end of 2016. And yeah, and since 2017 it's um, been used as Creepy Caves on Earth. Um, and as far as I'm aware, it's changed every single year so far. Um, but the backstory to it is this Secret agents lead you through the quarantine attraction for your exclusive look at the newly discovered plant species. But with zoo keepers going missing and strange things happening, who knows what powerful properties might be unearthed? Um, first of all, We'll talk about where the queue line area and that is. Um, it is a very temporary queue line. This year, uh, well, last year it was made out of barrels and like string. This year it's been made out of uh, temporary like queue line fencing. They've actually got queue line audio this year, which is pretty good, and it's a really creepy atmosphere and it adds a bit more to the experience. Um, and then you get put in your group. And you go in to have your safety briefing inside the tent. There's like a black tent outside. There's a lot more theming in there this year. Um, in the tent. Last year it felt really bland. But this year there's quite a bit more in there. And then after the safety briefing you go in to the next part of the tent. Where you meet your secret agent. And he tells you about the angel fire plant. And how it releases spores into the atmosphere. And it infects people. Um, that part of the story hasn't changed. Now, if you did not know previously, Creepy Caves on Earth was a pay extra attraction. This year, it's a included in the entry price. So, of course, they are going to have to keep the groups coming through. So then after your little start in the tent, you then go down the staircase. There isn't a jump scale on the staircase this year. I think we only had one... Uh, like scale on the staircase at one point and I did have about seven run throughs for it so I was I knew what was coming um then at the bottom of the staircase where there used to be nothing there there's actually now a tv screen at the side but um I did a behind the scenes tour on Creepy Caves and uh, apparently the screen isn't going to be working till next year so yeah um and then you go into the decontamination chamber that is Set wise, the same as last year, apart from you don't get it failing and then letting you in. This year, it just lets you in after the smoke. So, yeah, uh, you go in then to the lab where you've got the fridge. That has slightly changed this year, that has had a slight update to the script. Um, yeah, and then you go into like the area where the plant is kept. That hasn't changed set-wise either this year. Like that whole sequence hasn't changed. Uh, and then obviously uh, the plant starts sporing. And then obviously you're supposed to meet Dr. Burke. But he's not there. And um, you have to wait. Uh, the guy then calls Dr. Burke. And then shit hits the fan pretty much. Um, all the lights start going red. Sirens start going off. Dr. Burke is on behind you. On a window, like banging on the window. That was a really good jump scare last year, and it got me again this year. Um, interesting fact about where the Dr. Burke, like where it comes at the window. According to the staff who took me around on the behind the scenes tour, um, that is how it was found. It was found like that, like where he lies down. That is where it was, how it was found, and they just had to put some mats and stuff in. Uh, and then you go back into the lab, and then you go through to go into the caves. 
now above you this year there's actually like some flashing lights above you and like as if something's blown up which is a pretty cool little effect um and you go into the caves and then obviously your secret agents get get he gets killed by dr burke that is now actually a strobe scene this year originally it used to be like he would just jump out this year he jumps out but there's like flashing lights and sound effects um in there and then you continue going around most of the cave system is the same uh you've still got actors jumping about there's actors with like steel panels ramming along the floor that got me again this year i think that's really like it's a good scare and um you go through more scenes uh the scene there's a lot more air cannons in there this year which i think is brilliant there's more audio there's like a gramophone playing uh the strobe scene in there is still intense uh but this year i don't remember last year you had to open the door to go through this year you actually have to push open the door to go through which is a bit annoying but uh yeah continue going around and then there's a new uv scene in there this year well i got some really good scares it was absolutely brilliant um and then you continue going around there's like another window scare but this time there's no window glass it's just an actor who's going bang pop his hand out and it's pretty scary um and then the finale the finale has changed completely this year originally where there used to be black curtains at the exit to go through to the exit bit uh, there's now like a gate so when you go in that gate is locked so you go in and the sequence plays and pretty much um this technician he tells you about everything that's been going on and he tells you that he's going to switch off the power to open the gate however that means all the defenses holding back the creatures are going to go down and the creatures are going to be able to come and get you so that goes off uh all the lights go off smoke comes up from the floor uh flashing lights you're held in there for 10 seconds this year which is really intense i got a really good scare where on my first run through i was stood by the back wall where you come into that scene and an actor jumped out in front of me and the strobes going off, went off i was literally sat on the floor it was funny uh and then you obviously go out i'd say you're in there for up to five ten minutes um yeah creepy caves it's still a really good maze um and also beyond this on the beyond the scenes thought they said it will be coming back next year as well so we can expect creepy caves to come back in 2020 which means that will be its fourth year running um and yeah if you didn't know it was uh it's an award-winning maze it won the award for best original concept and design the 2018 scale awards so yeah, out of 10, what would I rate the theme in, in Creepy Caves? 9 out of 10. Scares? 8. There was times where there weren't a lot of scares, but it was still a really good strong maze. Um, by the time this video comes out, today is the last day that uh, Creepy Caves on Earth is open for 2019. If you did miss out on it this year, definitely go down and try it next year. Um, like I said, I will be talking about the After Dark version in another video so look out for that but yeah creepy caves on earth is a maze not to miss really it is it's a maze not to miss um and you might notice i'm actually wearing a new shirt i recently bought from open towers on the website uh which is subspecies the end games and i'll just show you the back i don't know if you can see it but yeah but yeah uh, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, punch that subscribe button. Uh, hit the hit the like button as well. That's the end of the Halloween season for me. Um, we are coming up to the Christmas season again. So we're going to be covering some good events. We're going to be covering Christmas at Holton Park. Winter's Tale at Chesington. We're going to be covering Hyde Park Winter Wonderland again. I look forward to covering that because I had so much fun there this year. Uh, last year. Yeah, thanks very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.